and there's already a division even with Christians so because like I said right there's half truth like you know a majority of the church you know doesn't have contain the truth right they believe in the works you don't it's a free gift like once you're saved then the Holy Spirit lives in you anyways going back to the Holy Spirit we know that the job of um, Satan is to do that to divide the Christian right so we need to really really stand together and right try to explain um, to other Christians hey this is how it is the baptism of the Holy Spirit doesn't happen once only just like what they're referring to the baptism immersing in water and then you know the Holy Spirit it fills you up it doesn't really work that way I did a lot of studying I was baptized too numerous times and that is just a ritual that happened just like a wedding right I explained it over and over again okay but okay we we know that um we need to know the you know just doctrine uh, uh truth right that's the job of the um the holy ghost right so we need to know that you know whether we be you know jews or gentiles right whether we're bound you're free or whatever um we are to be made to drink into one spirit whoever whoever you are you could be top of the line you know blood royal blood whatever we have to be filled with just one spirit it doesn't matter what your you know what your rebuttal is that there's universal spirit i don't know what spirit you are talking about that's not that we're not talking about that okay we're talking about that spirit that is coming from god from the trinity so that alone please we're not going to do that right there's a lot of mis um uh, speculations that you know the spirit or whatever okay i wanted to to make sure that um uh, the dispensation of uh, there's so many variations too but anyway we're not going to get into that otherwise we're going to be here forever okay um the baptism really of what they were referring to is the the one baptism right in the you know one faith one lord one baptism more so right um there's there's an argument that there's supposed to be um two baptism water and spirit um and which is that right but like again you're coming to be baptized with the spirit as as soon as you declare jesus as your savior right and your lord so that alone is the you know the spirit who's baptizing you then you do you're showing the world that you know what i'm declaring that i'm a christian you're showing it's a ritual it's a ceremony it's of course it's sacred and holy just like the wedding the wedding is just a ceremony but overall like flesh and flesh god sees that as marriage okay guys i've gone into that topic already so the definition of this is we need to make sure that we are 